Here we have some words of wisdom from our beloved Alexandria Occasional Cortex, and uh, let's see what she has to say. Tucker Carlson is out at Fox News. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. Um, I love how like uh, the text actually translates the um. What I will say though is while I'm very glad that the person that is arguably responsible for the some of the largest driving some of the most uh, amounts of death threats and violent threats, not just in my office, but to... You know, it's really interesting how it goes, right? Like, um, when you have, like, a certain ideology, because, like, usually all ideologies have their own members that eventually do criminal stuff. But, but like, l let's say the, the concept of transgenocide, right? Like, which is, like, amplified on social media constantly and uh, makes the trans people feel afraid, right? Uh, and you amplify that and you dial it to 11 and at one point like someone snaps, right? And uh, they commit a crime. No leftist talking head is ever responsible for that. Like you, you will not find a single politician being blamed. You will not find a single news anchor being blamed. And it's the same with everything else that's on the left. Like if you have an ideology that demonizes police officers and it says that all cops are bastards, right? All of them, every single one, right? And uh, you you amplify that and you dial it to 11. And when someone actually goes out and injures a cop just because they're a police officer, like no, no other reason, right? No left-leaning person is ever held responsible. No talking head is guilty. Not, nothing like that. If you look at Elon Musk's Twitter, you look at his uh, replies, he's getting death threats. He's getting like a lot of insults. He's getting all of that. You're not going to see AOC responsible for that, right? Or, or any other left-leaning talking head. No, no, it's it's only one way. And, and they, they do this very interesting hyperbole. Like, like if I were to say, for example, I, I start the channel and I say that I don't like muggers, right? Like, I, I lived in a dangerous neighborhood. I have been mugged. I think all muggers should go to prison, blah, 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 right? If the next day you have a vigilante, which injures a mugger, they will say I'm responsible. Even though I never advocated for that, you know, like I'm saying, no, like the law should be applied. Like a mugger should get to prison. But if you have a vigilante that does it, they will try to, no, 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 you, V is the problem. He needs to have his channel shut down. They do this every single time, like w with almost every single talking point. Like if you are to say, um, I do believe that borders are important and that borders uh, should be enforced. If you have, like, a, a guy injuring a person trying to cross a border illegally, you're to blame, because you believe in borders. I mean, th this logic is, is absolutely ridiculous, but, but they know it's ridiculous. They use it as a logic tool in order to censor the opposition. Why? Because the left literally believes that without Tucker Carlson and voices like him, everyone would vote for Obama. Like, they believe that the default state of the human mind is that they, like every individual loves paying more taxes to the government, loves being regulated by the government, told like you're not allowed to eat meat, you're not allowed to have an air conditioning, you're not allowed to have a private car, right? Like everyone loves that shit. But unfortunately, you have Tucker Carlson, you have Crowder, you have Ben Shapiro, and you have all these other people that AOC will never debate. And, and, and this is why leftists can't debate, by the way. I mean, I, I'm looking at, uh, right now, from what I understand, they're not even going to let Joe Biden debate anyone. And it's not that just because Joe Biden uh, is of venerable age, but like they, they can't, they can't debate. I, I have looked at some of the uh, democratic debates from the previous elections. They, they started speaking in broken Spanish. Like they, they were using arguments that don't make sense. Why? Because they don't debate. Every single time they disagree with someone, the first thing they do is like how to silence them. So they don't have to debate. Like if you always silence the opposition, then you don't have to debate the opposition. And this is what happens. So anyway, right, like I, I want to get to the important point of the little video here. Plenty of people across the country. Um, I also kind of feel like I'm like waiting for the cutscene at the end of a Marvel movie after all the... These people live in World War II and Marvel movies. They used to live in World War II, Marvel movies, and Harry Potter, but, like, unfortunately, Harry Potter is problematic now. But, like, seriously, just go on Twitter and look at the previous blue checkbox. 
The only references that they know in history is World War II. And the only other reference is Marvel movies. It's bizarre. Like, they, they don't have any, any other comparisons. I mean, AOC plays League of Legends. Why can't you make a comparison to Runeterra? Credits have rolled, and then you see, like, the villain's, like, hand reemerge out to grip, grip over, like, the end of a building or something. But... She literally believes Tucker Carlson is a Marvel villain. Now, the thing is, I, I don't believe that she believes it. I think that she believes the people that support her believe it. Like, like the, the people that support these types of politicians are stuck in their childhood. They're stuck in an infantile age. So that comparison with, with the hand that comes up to get... That, that's how you reach them. Like, if you talk about philosophy, if you talk about important shit, they, they are going to be baffled. That's deplatforming works. Yeah, so deplatforming works. This is where I wanted to go. Like, no one is disagreeing. You know, like Stalin, I'm pretty sure, when, when he was uh, massacring his uh, opposition, when, when he was super canceling people, I'm pretty sure, like, Stalin would have said, well, super canceling works, and, and he would do the same smile like AOC, right? And, and all the other dictators that purged their opposition would also say, well, yeah, super canceling works. The problem isn't that it doesn't work. The problem is that it's immoral. And the problem is that you don't want it to be done to you, lady. Because recently there was, a, I believe, a transgender activist. I, I may be wrong. Was it not in Tennessee, right, where, where they went into the, um, a, a, into the public office and they caused the scene and they got arrested, right? So Republicans can say, well, yeah, but like the platforming works. But like. Perfect example, right? Like, people are boycotting and leftists are upset. Well, yeah, but, like, the platforming works. Listen to AOC, right? You, you can't say the platforming works and then be upset when the people you don't like are the platforming you or they're the platforming the things that you care about. Because th this is why the platforming is upsetting for most people, right? Like, there is an audience. In the case of Tucker Carlson, far more than AOC has. Like, I, I looked at Tucker Carlson's latest video. Over 60 million views. There are 60 million people that want to consume the product, right? Like 60 million people want to watch Tucker Carlson. And then you have like one individual or a couple that, that want to prevent those 60 million people from watching the stuff they want to watch. This is why it's upsetting, right? It's, it's not about Tucker Carlson because he can't speak. No, it's about the fact that the people can't listen. That's why it, what's annoying. And... and you're not even trying to reach those people. You're not even trying to persuade them about the arguments. You're not trying to talk to them. You're not trying to reason with them. You just want them to not listen to talk. And, and again, like the, the reason they're doing this is that they legitimately believe that without Tucker Carlson, everyone would vote for Obama. Like overnight, they, they would just vote for Obama. You know, they, they don't have like actual issues in real life that they feel aren't being represented and they find someone that actually speaks about their issues. No, 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 no. It can't be that. It can't be that. It's like Tucker Carlson is one of the few people on earth that has the ability to puppeteer and to mind control people. And this is what left believes. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.